Oh. It's on. I told him if he wants to eat today, he's going to have to do the taste test for you. I'm still waiting on the cornbread. Hi. That's Kenny. I forgot to turn the oven on or it... making a meatloaf this evening, but I'm using a gadget in the kitchen that if I bought it for myself, to be honest, I do have short-term memory. I don't remember. I couldn't find a book on it. Doesn't mean I don't have one because most of my books are put together and put up, you know, instructional books. So I kind of looked up online, so I'm going to kind of wing it. I'll introduce my gadget after I get my meatloaf done. So I thought I'd just bring you down. I always do meatloafs a little different. I'm doing it in the microwave though, so I hope it turns out. And I'm doing it in something else. I almost gave it away, didn't I? Stay tuned. Yeah, this should be in a haul. I'm fixing to use it now, so I better show it. Ground beef. I got, let me see here, 4.7 pounds of ground beef, believe it or not, $2.99 a pound on sale, and I'm going to use two pounds of it. I thought I'd just bring you down. First of all, I usually start out with my ingredients, and then I add my uh, meat. So I'm going to, like I said, I'm kind of winging it. I'm going to use two eggs. Boy, that one. And these are my my uh, homegrown eggs. I didn't grow them, but my chickens did. I am going to use a meatloaf seasoning pack, which I normally don't use. A lot of times I'll use onion soup mix, but today I just thought I'd use a meatloaf seasoning pack. We like it just a tad on the spicier side. Got one little fly in here. Spicier side, and I'm trying to clean up or clean out some of the stuff that I have. So I have some of this Wickles, Wicked Jalapeno Relish. I'm going to add a couple of things of it in. A lot of times I'll chop up some jalapeno and put it in my meatloaf. So I'm going to say for two pounds, at least a good... Two tablespoons. I hope I don't make it too hot. I'm going to do a cup of ketchup. And like I said, normally I don't even measure. I just make my meatloaf uh, by sight. And since that ketchup's coming out so slow... I think that's all that's left in it. It's about a cup. I'm just going to put that in. Take the lid off, hopefully. Turn it upside down and get the rest of it out. And I'm going to add about, <laughs> like I said, using out of my refrigerator, about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I like to add uh, mustard also in my chili when I make chili. I probably should have took the lid off that now since I turned it upside down. If I see that that's not going to be enough, I can open another bottle. I'm just trying to use what I have, which I think all of us are trying to do nowadays. Got that in there. So then I'm just going to, I was going to say whisk it up. I need to get a whisk. I should show you that's how it looks. So I'm just going to go ahead and whisk the eggs and all the wet ingredients together. Like I said, I always do different, but I kind of want to get that 
to where when I put the meat in, it's already incorporated pretty good. I've got a medium onion. Like I said, a lot of times I'll use onion soup mix. Today I'm trying to use up some onions that you've seen in a, a harvest food bank called that my husband brought home. And they're kind of soft, so I need to use them. Breadcrumbs are going to be discretionary. Do I always get it right? No, but I'm thinking probably about two cups. There's one cup. I'll do a cup and a half. And if I need more. And it also stretches your meat out. The reason I'm going ahead and doing two pounds is because I freeze it in slices. And then say my husband gets hungry. Ah, that wasn't good. Uh, and he'd like to have something, you know, hot, then I can quickly take out a slice or two and have him a meal in no time. That was two cups of crumbs. I don't think that's going to be too much. Does anybody else cook this way? This way my mama cooked, and this is the way I learned to cook. Back when I was going to school, high school in the 70s, I don't know about middle school, we actually had home ec. I remember loving sewing class. Cooking, I could get at home. Sewing, I could get at home, but I really enjoyed sewing class. Got that in. So I'm going to take a, approximately... And my hands are washed, so we don't have to worry about that. I'm going to take approximately two pounds of this ground beef. And I can always add a little bit if I need to. Since that was almost five pounds, I'm thinking that's almost two pounds. And then I mix it together. I hope... I hope, I hope <laughs> that this turns out because it's the gadget I'm wanting to check out today, but my husband's counting on meatloaf tonight, so the only way he's going to get meatloaf tonight is if it turns out I'm a one-take kind of person. <laughs> he may have to eat it as is, but, and like I said, well, I'll tell you more about that when you see how I'm going to do it. And I think I've heard before, too, don't overwork your meatloaf because it can actually make it tough. And I'm, I guess you could say I'm known to overwork it because I want to get all the flavors in it. And I don't think I need to add any more breadcrumbs. I think everything's, I think everything's good to go. I'm going to go wash my hands, kind of clean this up, and I'll be right back. Are you still with me? I don't even know if I'm with me. I found a microwave pressure cooker in my items. I know there's no way I could have bought it, especially at the price it was when I have something else from somewhere else. But I couldn't find the instruction book back, so I kind of researched online. It says, uh, Maximum 127 Celsius to 248 Fahrenheit. It's a three liter. That's why I'm hoping my meatloaf does all right in here because two pounds is a lot, isn't it? And I think I've seen her. I should have done more research. We'll learn together. But anyway, it doesn't have a rack or anything in it. And I didn't see where it said to put water in the meatloaf when I looked at different recipes or videos, and this was last week, so don't quote me on that because we're gonna find out together. But anyway, got the pot. I did wash all these thoroughly. Got the gasket that comes out that you can wash. 
the pressure release valve and the pressure valve right here. So, I'm not sure. It says minimum water, but we're doing meatloaf, and I don't think you're going to put water in meatloaf. Plus, meatloaf does a lot. I mean, meat has a lot of uh, moisture on its own. I should have looked at the max line. It's got a max line. Wow. <laughs> Two pounds puts it almost right at the max line. Couldn't have got better than that. And I guess I mixed it well enough in the... Well enough in the bowl that I didn't have to do much mashing. Let me go wash my hands I'll bring again. you down. This is the lid lock right here. They say it's not a handle. Don't be carrying your food in it. It's just a lock to lock the lid. So I'm going to put the lid lock on. Well, I guess I'll put it on first. How's that? Can I do it? And then put the lid lock down. There's my lid lock. Is it going to turn out? I don't have a clue. <laughs> I'm going to have fun. I'm at the point in life, I'm going to have fun. I'm going to try stuff. No, I can't afford to waste food, and I believe that this will turn out at least edible, if nothing else. I'm going to do 25 minutes. For some reason, Tupperware says 900 uh, watts, and mine's an 1,100 watt microwave, and then I see other microwave pressure cookers uh, do 1,100 watts. And I think they do the meatloaf at 25 minutes. So, y'all might can tell me if I'm fixing to do wrong after I've done done it. <laughs> I'm going to not power it down, and I'll tell you why. I power it down. I did try this pressure cooker out once before, but only with elbow macaroni. And I told Heather everything seemed to do good, except in the beginning... I had mine powered too low, and the pressure valve never came up. So I put it back in there for another 10 minutes when I pressured up a little bit, which made it in there 20 minutes, it dehydrated. Too much liquid came out. The macaroni itself was really good, but it was kind of lumpy because I had, the moisture had come out of it. So, I think I'm gonna do, my head's telling me 25 minutes, at 1100 so I'm gonna put it in the microwave we don't have to worry about building it up to pressure or anything it'll do everything on its own that's what I hear <laughs> and after 25 minutes you're supposed to bring it out I may let you see it in the microwave once the pressure release the pressure valve comes up if I can remember so I'm gonna put this in the microwave we're going to find out how this meatloaf tastes. Plus, I got a little bit to do after it comes out. Not much. Let's try this again. The valve pressure came up before 10 minutes. It's a lot of meat. I'm hoping it's the moisture in it. The reason I haven't seen where you need to add water if I'm wrong. Surely it'll still be good. Right. That one thing go good with that meatloaf is some home canned pinto beans I'm going to simmer with some pinto bean seasoning and I'm doing a couple of packs of the Jiffy Mix all out of my pantry and what else am I doing? Buttery Homestyle Mashed Potatoes out of my pantry. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of packs of those too and that way we'll have leftovers or some in the freezer and then when me and Omi's on little trips and stuff, Kenny will have a homemade TV dinner. Can you see the steam coming out? Even though I didn't add water, it's been 25 minutes. The pressure valve is up. I'm gonna finish up what I'm doing. I think I can smell it. I'm gonna uh, finish up what I'm doing with the rest of the food I just showed. 
and I think you can do a quick release. I might have to investigate. I can't remember. But I think I'll see if it'll come down on pressure on its own until I come back. And then I'm going to check the internal temp, see if it's 160. Then we'll know if we need to put it in again. Again. <laughs> you can tell I'm getting tired. And the juice of the celery, I'm going to dry the celery pulp. And then grind it. it took five minutes for the pressure cooker to come down to pressure. So I'm going to release the lid lock. I'm going to open up the pressure cooker, hopefully. And you're going to open it away from you. And look at all that steam. Oy. Ooh, you see it on me? Yes. Yes, I had a three-way call with Omi and Adeline and Eli, so they're with me. But this is what it looks like. It even got brown on top, Omi. I don't see it. Hang on, I'll show you. I got to see if it's 160 in the middle. Omi, look. Oh, yeah. Oh, what is his name? What? What is his name? Oh, yeah, we're, uh, we're up to... We definitely passed the 160 mark. Was 170? About 175. Yeah, so I guess pretty close. And all my husband likes on his meatloaf is, uh, see, Omi? Yeah, it's always brown. Yeah, it got brown. All he likes is uh, ketchup on top, so we're just going to yeah, put some ketchup good. on top. And then we'll give it a taste test. Tell me if you were here. Yeah, I know. You always cook the good meals when I'm not there. They what now? <laughs> they what now? I said you always. I got a kitty. You oh, got a kid? Oh, you do. Adlin's doing all this. <laughs> you see why I get distracted? But yeah, the meatloaf's doing good. I'll bring you back when I plate it up. I'ma talk to these women, these good-looking, handsome, beautiful women. Yeah, she's doing all this. Uh... And I'm gonna. Plate it up, and I'll show you what she's I She's trying to hang up on me. I don't see if she's supposed to call the access. <laughs> yeah, Adeline still got effects going on. She hung up to call her cousin. But Omi's hanging on the phone, aren't you, Omi, till you see what I did. Yes, I want to see the plate. She wants, to, she wants me to do a taste test for her because she's got to get ready to leave. Ch and we done check the temp. No, it's good. It's been sitting for... A few minutes. Oh, yeah, it should be done, yeah. We know that it got done on the inside. So I the just, only thing I'm going to have to give me a thermometer. I always forget when I go to the store. Yeah, I use my meat thermometer a lot. I would be so much better for me to test it, yes. Yes. Oh, it came out really well on me. Look. Did you fix it like your other ones? I, yeah, look, well, the cat, the, cat the cat's in the way. <laughs> Can you see it? I see it. Yes. Can y'all see it? I'll bring you back after uh, I finish fixing this plate up, but it, it sure did hang in there good, and it looks oh. good. It's on. I told him if he wants to eat today, he's going to have to do the taste test for you. I'm still waiting on the cornbread. Hi. That's Kenny. I forgot to turn the oven on, or it would have been done a long time ago, but you're used to that, aren't you? I am. But this is his plate, and he's going to try my microwave meatloaf. Microwave meatloaf. He's been wanting meatloaf first for of all, a while. I'm try these taters. Oh, he's going to try the taters first. Mm. <laughs> Thumbs up. Thumbs up for taters. I'm anxious for you to try that. Good. Microwave? That was in the microwave. Is it a little bit too spicy? I, you know, I always knock it no. up a notch. Is it, Or is it just right? I need to tell them in case they need to knock it down a notch. That first bite wasn't anyway. <laughs> the first bite wasn't. And that's my home canned pinto beans. Oh, can I get another Those are really hot. <laughs> I mean, hot. Oh. Hot. hot. Yeah, not as in heat. I mean, yeah, not as in heat. In heat, not as in yeah. spices. How they taste? 
Good. Do they flavor. need a little salt or anything no, to good them? flavor. And he's got to wait on his Jiffy muffin mix, but I think he's taking his plate right on. Yeah. So until next time, we'll talk soon.